Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Black sun in the hizzle. Oh, the shizzle dizzle. We got a excellent show here today. Um, I don't need to make no disclaimer. No I'm just disclaimer, so man. used to doing that. Exactly. This, this one of the, um, I want to give a big middle finger out to Comcast and People's TV. Yeah, we'll big. Oh, we want to. Yeah, thank we'll you for free. Now, man. You Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so today, I'm, I'm going to have everybody introduce themselves. Uh, we're going to go from sisters first. We're going to go from right and then we're going to go around the room. Um, hi, my name is Ebony. Um, I'm Izzy's wife, well, Antonio Ahmad's wife. Mm -hmm. I know I really will, but that's I'm just his wife, and I'm just here to support everyone. Hi, I'm China. Um, I'm Mangui Rose, Sadie Gizzle's wife. Brother Hyrule, street groomers, product of growth and development. Now you know your boy Yang and Chroma, man, no doubt. But so I think that we since we're introducing, we should also let them know a little bit of what's going down. Who these sisters are and whose wives they are. We know that it was um, how many, how many brothers were back? Uh, I think forty all together. Thirty two, then eight. All of a sudden, you know, yeah, brothers. Yeah. Forty brothers all together. I know thirty two initially it was thirty two brothers of growth and development mm -hmm. were indicted on various charges, um, you know, ranging from all types of stuff. Uh, and we're here to really expose the sham. It's an honor to be here to be invited to the home of brother Is to be sitting with. Uh, brothers is his queen and brother is his queen. Okay. We're going to make sure that we don't get these things confused. Um, <laughs> and to be in their home and to hear what went on and why it was so re relevant to me to be in a home is because the sister was actually giving me a tour of the destruction done right. to the home and the apprehension of brother is who, I mean, you know, when you're looking above and beyond come in someone's house and then have to have been able to sit with his queen and his young children. The tactics used. I mean, I'm looking at a singed carpet, burned. Right. From where apparently a flashbang, holes in the ceiling, inches away from his youngest son, Joshua. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Yes, Yesiah. Yesiah. Yes. From Yesiah's heads. I'm sure that it was the same thing. Yes, with his brother, brother Izzy. Right. And the psychological trauma that the uh, the effect of this that this will have on the children it does the does the government care and looking at the um when and and and, and I hope that we get a little bit and talk about a little bit of the charges but talk about more importantly who these brothers were okay and what they were doing in the community and why I think was so important why they would be targeted by the government um. And it's super important to talk about on the show today because really what it is, like what we learned the old lesson, if you don't learn from history, history repeats itself. Absolutely. And I wouldn't even be, I don't even think I, it would be a stretch to say that these brothers fall in the lines of like Brother Malcolm, preferably in fact the Most High God that they weren't assassinated, but definitely in the lines of Mumia Abu Jamal, okay. Sadat Akola, uh, uh, Matula Shakur, and other political, political prisoners they definitely need to be free. These brothers fall along the lines of this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be redundant and long with it. I just want to set that out there for the people to understand why we're here and the importance of what we're talking about today. Because far too often we read about these political prisoners and we go and we, and we read it and, and we read it in a historic text. You know what I'm saying? That it's like, okay, you know, yeah, we are Boo Jamal and we remove from that. Because he wasn't in our time, or Matul Shakur, Sanada Akola, and so on and so forth. But since they're not in our time, we kind of look at them as historic figures. But here are brothers whom I've had the opportunity and the privilege and the pleasure to do, to be an active with, to be active in the community and see how they affect the, and change young brothers and sisters' lives, but also your contemporaries and your comrades in this day and time. Uh, that's getting out here and affecting the change, man. And for the brothers and sisters, if you're not involved with this thing, if you're not really behind this and being aware of this, then you never really will. Hang up your revolutionary card. Stop playing like you're conscious. Stop playing like you're down with the people, man, because the people have been attacked and being persecuted. We have political prisoners right now being held captive behind enemy lines. And I think it's up to, and I'm very passionate about this because, like I said, I personally know these brothers and know the worst they've done. And I think that it's up to us to bring awareness and to do all that we can to uh, secure 
secure their release of freedom. Okay. Um, want to start for China, or you guys want to? You want to start first? Tell us what happened the night. Okay, um, I would say this. Um, it was around, I want to say, five something in the morning. Excuse me. Around five something in the morning on Wednesday, a day before my son's birthday, actually, okay. on May fourth. I woke up to the sound of glass shattering, a big bang. I'm thinking someone is breaking in. Right, absolutely. I'm hearing like gunshots. I'm thinking shots are being fired Wait, off. Gunshots? It sounded at the oh, time, okay, you know, I right. just woke up and it sounded like gunshots. Okay. Just firing off, but it was actually like the bombs. The grenades, okay. Going off. Mind you, I have my four-year-old four year son sleeping downstairs okay. near the door. Um, I got my four-month-old upstairs with me along with my husband. I immediately wake him up. I'm getting ready to run downstairs. All I hear is FBI, FBI, and some more sounds coming, some bombs being thrown. So they come in with their guns pointed down on us. Mind you, I'm unclothed with my four-month-old in my hand. He's already on the ground with his hands up. Right. They got guns pointed at him, guns pointed at me. I'm like, I need to know where my son is. I need to go check on my son. Right. He said, if you move, we're going to shoot you. Mind you, you can clearly see I don't have anything in my hands but my daughter. Mm -hmm. I need to know if my son is okay. So you're upstairs. Well, and your baby is downstairs. Your is four year old down by himself with FBI even surround him. Right. More than likely, pistols drawn. Oh, it was guns drawn on him. By the time I get right. down, he's up not knowing what's going on with like two, three men in front of his face with the guns pointed at him. Drawn, yeah. Now, you had the same situation? Yes, I did. Um, well, my husband, he's on um, supervised probation. And okay. I usually come visit him a lot. And uh, we was at a friend house. So it was roughly 6 o'clock. A young fella yeah. left out the house. I would say maybe five minutes later, that's when we hear this big kick. So I'm thinking it's him. I'm the first one up. And I just see flash. They threw about three of them. It was me. Mm. We was in the living room on the floor. My two kids, my um, seven-year-old and my five-year-old, we was right there. My husband had to literally jump on top of my kids because where they threw the flash grenades. Yes. And it threw, they threw one at me. I'm four months pregnant. Mm. I had to jump out the way because it literally almost hit me. Mm. They threw about four of them. It, it's like holes everywhere, and they yeah. point guns. I'm telling him, I can't lay on my stomach. I'm pregnant. He's still forcing me to get down with my hands up, which I had my hands mm -hmm. up. And it, it was just crazy. They mm -hmm. were just being rude, very rude, going through things they weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. They didn't leave. They didn't even show us no search warrant at mm -hmm. all. They just came in mm -hmm. and just for, put everybody in handcuffs just like that. Why do you think they charge it? I'm sorry. Well, the first thing I want to know, Yang, and I want to do some research on it. What's the procedure of when that happens if a pregnant woman? Yeah, like you said, that that I mean, you know we need to inquire about that. Inquire about that. I mean, it's it really state terrorism. I mean, it psychologically traumatizes the children. It's the it's your terror and the kids. It okay, so that's one thing we got to address. Yeah, we got we got to address that immediately. Yeah, yeah. Immediately. 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 Yeah. My question is, why do you think your husbands were targeted? Well, for one, my husband's always out into the community. He's feeding the hungry. He's always doing something, unifying gangs, as they would call it, a group of black men or women. He's unifying people. Um, he has two profit, nonprofit organizations, uh, one being STOP, Stop Terrorizing Our People, right. and the other one being uh, Better Serving Ourselves Community Outreach. He's very active in that. Um, he's helped women from abusive relationships. He's done so much over the past, how long have we been together? Six, seven years. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he was being targeted. We went to a KKK rally. Mm -hmm. He was on the news. Yeah. He's very articulate. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, make, he'll make anyone white look stupid, I'm gonna be honest with you. Forgive me if I can say that. Wait a minute here. I don't know how to, no, go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and I think they see him as a threat, and I don't mean a threat as he's violent. I mean a threat mentally. Like a threat as in they, they 
He's stopping our money flow. He's yeah. stopping the drugs in the black community. All this. Wait a minute. Aren't you part of them straight rumors? Who are you trying okay, to do? We got one. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, man, we ain't done, bro. Like I said, it's crazy. But it's you, you disrupted our flow. But sir, but sir, it's, but it's like the twenty third, they 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 break out rally up, and the twenty seventh, they they getting it done. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of so you think it is connected to the whole clan rally in yeah. the? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's first. Let me tell you one thing because I was there as well as uh, on the front lines. He when he would motion us or would say something to, to, for us to do something, to get on the side because. We can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all can get somewhere if y'all in a single file line. Everyone rounded up. He's the only one speaking and we're listening. Mm -hmm. Groups, groups, mass groups of people listening to him. Right, right. And they are noticing it. Absolutely, absolutely. He's the one speaking. He's the one in front of the camera. He's the one doing everything. Mind you, he's not violent. He's just speaking. And he has the authority. He has the authority to say, let's do this. Let's get right here. If he said, everyone, let's leave, everyone would leave. Yeah. He has not only, you know, growth and development mm -hmm. with him, right. he has bloods. Mm -hmm. He has crips. Mm -hmm. He has all different types of organizations mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. And they're listening to mm -hmm. this man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they like to paint it out that to try to say it was a game thing, mm -hmm. but it's, right. a, it's a respect that he's earned that. Correct. Like, oh, Correct. Yeah, but, you know, he's earned the respect of these, these various generals and these various um, leaders of other organizations. To listen to them. But we got your street groomers, Brother Harun, and also, uh, you know, uh, a, a very outspoken person who is out there advocating the growth and development of, of, of our communities and our young men and young women to do better. Mm -hmm. They say that it's a front, brother. They say that all of that is a front. They say, well, I mean, what is your response to the critics who say, oh, that's just a growth and development of a front? I had you on the last show, and they say, oh, that's a front, the free chair and move, or free chair and move, by the way free all political prisoners, mm -hmm. uh, that all of that is just a front. What, I mean, what's your response to that? Well, I guess the front, all that money they get, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> they get them money every year to for the streets. Okay. But all of a sudden, the governor's got big houses, mayor such and such, got, he got a brand new car, mm -hmm. and the senator got about like, four or five cars. You know, so they talking about black girls on Lolo. They, they talking about black people on Lolo. All of them got little black sisters who house they go to at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's keep it real. You know, like I said, I told I got a little campaign. It's called No Justice, No Money, No Respect, No Money. So, since y'all want to keep picking on us, we're going to hit you in the pocket. I don't believe in fighting. Mm -hmm. I don't fight with the hands. Like, like I, got, I got I put a lawsuit on the uh, police department now. Mm -hmm. If you look at me wrong, I'm going to sue you. Mm -hmm. Because I feel that you hurt my feelings. You might do something to me. Mm -hmm. But you looked at me wrong. Yeah. I feel I'm there. I might go cry. Mm -hmm. Because you looked at me like I was a bad person. So, why do you feel like that that... that Growth and development, and these particular brothers, uh, Izzy and, and Iz, and the other brothers that I don't, you know, some of them I don't know, um, are such a, why are they looking at them as such a threat? And where did they get this, you know, one of the things before the show was over, I also want to run, because Brother Iz, said, who is an excellent writer, man, sent us a letter. Mm -hmm. I'll get some random opportunity to make sure we have opportunity out there to read this letter mm -hmm. that the brother had when we get out to the publication, uh, the other black publications. And it's an honor, like I said, there again that y'all allowed us to come in and do this and that is, man, you know, um, that you reached out, brother, and allowed us to do this and send a letter to us, man, we're gonna fight hard and free all you brothers. Um, but why do you feel like that growth and development is such a threat to the power structure? Because Mr. Hoover told us something a long time ago, real gangsters go to the Pope. Mm -hmm. So when they turned the concept over to growth and development, it became political. They're afraid mm -hmm. of anything that can push them out of the office. They're afraid of anything that can they something so they can take over our world. I'm like, I don't want this world. You know what? I, he, that's when I knew it was political. Uh -huh. Can we rap? When they had all these indictments, son, they had all these indictments saying it was in there, and then they quoted them, and they, and they said that it should the government fall. Uh -huh. We can step in and take over the wow. That's when I knew they were scared. Oh, wait a minute. That's yeah. when that, I knew it was political. That's, that could be a serious charge, too. Is there a, is there a charge? Well, what, what, I mean, it, could, it, it could be, if you were saying, it, when we overthrow the government, when we take so what? What are the charges? That would be insurrection. But the right, 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 right. Because I want to. I'm, I'm not. I want. They have all these trumped up charges, yeah. and then they have this one charge that you least suspect, and then that's how you know what I'm saying. I mean, that's that's trying to. They're not even. That's not. That wasn't even one of the charges. They didn't okay, charge okay. I just want to make sure. They right. Charged with revolution, 
uh, terrorism. They didn't charge with any of that. Well, that was a statement. That was a statement made, made on the news. Yes. <laughs> but I think to, any to further smear the name of growth and development. But you know what? Any right. self-determined people should feel that way. I hope the black community feels that way. You know, I don't give a damn growth development, Crip, Blood, the Masons, the, the, you know, because you say all of that. I say, what about the cute dogs, the Omega sci fis and all that? They're just educated right. games, if you ask right. me. Yeah. But... Yeah, but they're not, they're, not, they're not political, though. Yeah, right, exactly. They're, they're not any, political. Any self-determining people, if a government, just like the Constitution said... The most okay, political they, they get is, you know, who inflated the football yeah. during the Super Bowl. But, I mean, it's, like, like, we, like we were doing with um, um, Georgia um, GSF. Yeah. What, did they, what did we call from the Bill of Rights? The Bill of Rights said if the government is unable or unwilling to protect the masses of people, the masses of people have a right to defend themselves or to change that government. You know what I'm saying? So you any self-determining people, if your government should collapse, not for whatever reason, man, natural disasters. Collapse. You would hope, yeah, I mean economic collapse. Okay, so you would hope that you would be in a position to maintain your own self. I don't even see anything. I don't even know why so that's how it was political. Okay, okay. So what okay, so what are the charges? You mind? Uh ooh, it's a whole list. I don't have to Look that up. You guys on your phone? Well, can you um, uh, no, how many charges? Let me tell you how. Like all types yeah, of the RICO, money laundering, carjacking, yeah. murder, drugs, mm -hmm. all all of that. It's, it's a whole list <laughs> to a point where if they when they get the discovery packet, it's not going to be in paper form. Right, they right. Get a disc. Now I, That's how much. Yeah. Now I, I was I was at the hospital the night I saw it, and they said it was a former DeKalb sheriff that was involved also, and they said that he was a hit man, and he was a hit man. Yeah, they said he was. They said the former man, hit man, sheriff. Bro, excuse me, I had to say this. Some of you guys, they got on newspaper talking about they kill this man. I ain't gonna throw right to the wedding. When I see some of them names they got on there, tell me he was a hit man, he's a killer man. I know some of them brothers on there that instead, if they went into the bluffs with us and broke down crying. Okay, okay, but yeah, uh, but hold on, you gotta, you gotta, what I'm saying. I understand them brothers you're talking about, but we talking about a former police officer who has, I would say I'm this. sure, because you know, DeKalb County got a lot of dirt. I've, I've been know. in the community. Okay. I have not ever seen this man, nor have I heard right. him. My husband has not ever seen him. The only time okay, my good. husband has seen him is in there, yeah. in the concert, just now. That's oh, so they're trying to tie him in with him. He may not know him. know him. He has not ever seen this man, has not ever heard of this man, except in the, the holding, the facility that they're in right. now. So, okay, so they just threw him in. We don't they, know where he came from. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the danger, to me, that's the danger. So when you talk about, when you talk about Rico, you get 40 people, I mean, how much just is that? You get 40 people, probably 38 of them I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because he jaywalked a little bit on the street, all of a sudden, I'm right. not charges. Yep. But that's you know my thing. Yeah. What would you qualify a gang as? Yeah. I mean, would you qualify the KKK as a gang? Because all they do is, is, is uh, profess hate. Mm -hmm. Right. What, who, who would you qualify as a gang? Mm -hmm. Seriously, a sorority, a group of sisters? Yeah. Is that a gang? Yeah, but they would say, and, and and this has been said on the last show we did, they said the difference between a gang and an organization is that the gang is more geared towards criminal activity. Oh, so what they're saying is they have criminal, uh, I guess, uh, um, how can I put this? They have footage or have proof of criminal activity going on within a gang. Right. So you don't have to prove that. Yeah. Absolutely. Because many brothers don't know anything about this criminal activity. Mm -hmm. Many brothers have their own cases going on. Mm -hmm. They ha they work out in the community. They do this. A lot of them have have uh, done time, and that's in the past. Mm -hmm. yeah. What they're doing now is something positive. Mm -hmm. So is that what you call in criminal activity? Something that happened in the past, or something that someone else has done? But mm -hmm. this brother, this is with him. So oh, I'm gonna type you in with that. It sounds like to me somebody not involved with your husband's. It, it sounds like this damn cop got. It got got jammed up, and I said, "Oh, I know the GD." He just blurted out, like you know, we talked about earlier, like how sometimes brothers 
Just, just spew stuff. stuff. Yeah. Just yeah. Just yeah. Just yeah. Making up Have stuff. Have you right. ever seen uh, that, that cop? Have you seen him at a rally? Have you seen him? No. Have you seen him? I have never seen him a day in my life. Right. Have you seen him put on room? And then another charge I want to get on is money laundering charge. Man, have y'all seen how some of these brothers live, man? man. They live in the house when they ain't got no heat in. I know. Right. Some of these brothers, they, they can't even eat, man. Some right. of my money right. laundry. It's Come a, on, bro. It's an attack on the, the underprivileged, if you ask me, man. They come and attack the underprivileged and the minorities. Because you can't tell me, like, you could read, just like in some of these cop shootings, mm -hmm. some of these crimes, you're not going to tell me that some of these police officers, like you said, the cab pass crooked, yes. that they don't belong to fraternities. Right. Nobody's going and arresting all the cute dogs. Right. You mean to tell me ain't no, you know, people doing crime, they don't love Masons. How many people have been locked up and been Masons? Y'all don't go and label the Masons of them and go put a rap on. Right. So it's when someone gets locked up and have an affiliation with something like that, you just, it's you blanket. So I think that it's an a unjust attack. I know, how you said something about uh, the GD, uh, was it Hoover? Or who, who did you say that was? Uh, I'm just trying to get my names. Who that? The head. You're saying that he was up for parole. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hoover ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Hoover is a man of God. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He tried to talk to brothers on positive stuff. That's okay. what these brothers were doing. They doing a lot of positive stuff out here in the community. Right. These guys ain't hurting nobody. Not hurting anyone. And I will say this. Uh, Iz was advocating, you know, for everyone to go to the polls. Mm. Oh. Go to the polls. Mm. Go to the polls. Mm. Everyone go to the polls. He kept saying that, kept mm -hmm. advocating for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we were also, everyone was trying to, you know, get in the group and pray, mm -hmm. like every Saturday. Everyone. So this is yeah. political. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very, very. Yeah, anytime. Now, we, we don't, we don't care, care about child praying, praying hell. But, but when you talk about going to the polls, <laughs> goddamn, people lose jobs, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's, that's serious. So it sounds like, okay, we got the Klan rally. Got your yeah, husband talking about going. Okay, it yeah. sounds political here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds very political. Yeah. 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 What are some of the things that, what are, like, you know, tell us some of the things that the brothers into it. And also, how has has support been coming in, or have you found that people are backing away from this, or how is that going? Oh my goodness! As far as the support, it's very little. Very little support. Uh, this man has done everything underneath the sun for these brothers and sisters, and he has 11 children, 11 right. babies, two households. Mm -hmm. These families are struggling. Right. They're struggling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no joke. Um, people that would call him to come speak in at, for, to the youth, um, to go into prisons and speak, right. are now, as he would say, tucking their tails and running away. Of course. Everyone, oh, I can't, I can't do this. Um, I, I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to be a friend. I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I don't want to speak up on his behalf. Let me wait. I don't want any backlash. Let me wait until all this stuff dies down. Let me see what's oh, going no, on. No, this no, is no. what they all say. But before they were all up on his phone. I need you here, man. I need you this. Can you speak right here? Can you do this? I need you to build these homes. He's there everywhere, doing something, feeding someone, and this didn't come. Uh, the, the money, money didn't come from anywhere but out of his own pockets, right. out of his households, Absolutely. out of his pockets. What mm -hmm. gang do you know does that? Mm -hmm. right. We wouldn't be struggling if we were a gang. Yeah. We wouldn't be no struggle. We'll have a, a few million here, a few mm -hmm. million there right. set aside. Yeah. We don't That's have right. that. Yeah. You know, we, see, we're not a gang, we're a family. Right. Right. And I remember I was staying in the house on the west side mm -hmm. with no lights on. And I remember Brother Spike and Brother Easy. I don't know, they came and got me out there and took me getting somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. Just like, I, I wasn't working. And Brother Ian gave me a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Brother KK, even them brothers helped me. They, they do a lot for the community. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I had some hoes in my shoes one time. Mm -hmm. And Brother Savage, you know, went about me a pair of brand new shoes. Mm -hmm. right. If I say, people talk to me, these guys like killer and they doing, got people doing stuff like that. I'm like, nah, man, these brothers are positive brothers in our community. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what really gave me the movement to want to do more political things mm -hmm. in the community. We feed the home because we want to. If we, we, we close our people because we want to. Yeah. And they not making nobody do it. If you don't want to do it, oh well, you ain't gotta do it. But could this be a case, because I've seen, like, we talk about how history pieces up. Could this just be a case of just the FBI wanting to know where the income comes from? Because it sounds like all these ghost charges that they can charge you, 
they can't get them on anything, they'll come back and say, well, you know, tax evasion, you know, how, you know, does, as far as the income, because it sounds like that's what they want to know. Like, they came in and see stuff. It's like a, they have this new law where police can come in and just see stuff. And even if you're not guilty, they, they can keep your stuff. I've had it happen to me. Wow. So I, I know, and they throw all of the charges, like, well, can I get my stuff back? Well, we'll see, seizure is it's, it's actually something Obama passed and all these governors passed. They say seize, they can seize your property, guilty or not guilty. So it sounds like it's just a money grab here. So the things that they took from me that were mine. Right. I, I, and that's why they took your registered pistol in your name, because they're saying, well, it's part of a seizure, and they just want to keep it. They know it's not his. They just want to keep it for themselves. You see that? My gun in my name, right. you know, it's registered to me. It had nothing to do with him. It wasn't outlaying somewhere. It wasn't underneath the bed. It wasn't in the closet. It was in my purse. Absolutely. the Second Amendment rights. Correct. In my purse. They took my son's tablet that had nothing on there but kitty games and baby pictures. Right, but see, what they'll do, Yang, is they'll say it was in the, in, in the commencement of an investigation. Yeah. Seized it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, now, you know, George Zimmerman just got his gun back. Yeah, exactly. So he had to do. He right. killed someone. Yeah. I see why. You know what I'm saying? He killed an innocent young black boy, right. an innocent right. black man, an innocent right. black boy. That's a child that he right. killed. Well, he should ever get that back. Right, right. But well, China, the the case was so high profile because if it wasn't high profile, he wouldn't have got that gun back. Yeah. Right. You know, because like a lot of people out here are not getting their stuff back. Right. You know. Right. Um. I mean, do you do you think it's a case of wanting to know where the money comes from, and they're just making these speculations, assumptions, and I feel like they're making assumptions. To be honest with you, you can ask him where his, his money comes from. He does right. so much work. He has the community behind him for all this stuff that, that they put fear in everyone's heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. He works so many jobs. He, he does CDs. He works the clubs at night. Okay. He's a promoter. Okay. I mean, he has had his own club, uh, I want to say a couple of years ago. I mean, it's so much that he does. So much. That's okay. where his income comes from. So much legitimate things. Right. Okay, and we want to for the record, if right. If it's not, it has nothing to do with growth and development. Just like if what he's doing, uh, how he makes his money, has nothing to do with that. A lot of people don't know. I don't know where is he, how is he makes his money. I don't know that. And, and it's but see, they want to know, though. But they, they can know, but that's what I'm saying. You do that separately. It has nothing to do with the organization. Right. Because when it comes to this organization, all the money comes out of our pockets. I use EBT cards to, to try to provide meals for the hungry. Right. Out of my children's mouth. Yeah. We do right. that. Yeah. Along with several other uh, sisters. Mm -hmm. We do that. Right. We come out in his pocket, he gives people shoes, clothes, right. food. He'll do anything. I'm telling you, this man would do anything for anyone, people that he don't even know. Right. I know, Hungry. You know, I know what it is. Black people to figure it out. Black folks to figure out how to do nonprofits. Black folks to figure out how to do 501. They even figure out how we get our money. We got to stop this. Oh my God, they don't have to pay taxes when you have a nonprofit. We can't let that happen. We can't lock them up now. So, yeah, you got a nonprofit. So, yeah, so. That's what they do. They take the 501c3s. So you're legitimizing all, all these people. Now you're, you're, you're starving out the prison industrial complex here. They, they I mean, we can't have yeah. this right here. Right. I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm so you're telling the truth. Because they said on news. They said on news. They told us some, you know, using non-profits to act like they want money. Y'all do it too. Yeah. Because they give oh, money every year. Hold up, hold up. So they're admitting that. He's got some legitimate nonprofits, uh -huh. but yeah. they're trying to turn the ties against the public. See, that's why you know, you know we, we do these types of shows here. Uh -huh. yeah. it, it, it's all making sense to me now. Um, like I said, the bad part is that everything that was seized, they got a new law saying you can't get it back. But being that we can make it a high profile, who knows? George Zimmerman got his gun back. Okay, so let me go back to what you're saying, Harun. Um, so he's got nonprofits. Stop and better serve and sell outreach. So then already he's got he's going through the taxes, the fed taxes, and it's all yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, I was with him. Yeah. Like the street rumors, it's legit. It's a nonprofit. I've done all of that because he's like I said, he's coming out of the pockets, but you got several people that want to help. Yeah. Got many people that want to help. We've been so coming out of pockets for years. We 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 served. We've closed. Okay. Um, 
just occurred, like you said, man. One of one of the things is that um, his political maturity. You know, okay, so but I'm, for, for those of us that have an opportunity to talk to his and know his, his is very politically mature. I mean, son, really politically mature, man. I, I, yeah, 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 I'm seeing that. that. Yeah, he's, not only politically, not, but economically. Yeah, economically, very, yeah. Um, he's against fascism. He's a brother that actually knows what fascism means. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you're a brother, he's against fascism. He's against totalitarianism. Uh, he and I have had some very in-depth political conversations that we Wait a minute. You're trying to call this country fascist, man. Right? Yeah. On the slide. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, if it isn't, you miss a whole nother show. If it isn't, when they put Trump in, you're definitely going in that direction. Right? Okay, okay. Um, He's Which will be the Trump's Trump Trump arena on right. Trump's Trump 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 arena. No, okay. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hi, Donald Trump. Trump. Uh, yeah. right. But, you know, when um talking to when I first had an opportunity, one of the first times I met you was when we had that rally. Mm -hmm. right, so right. Right, 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 right. The, um, you summit. remember the summit? Yeah, we got you. Okay, yeah. We got it on tape. Actually. All right, right. Back right. to the arena on Censor, check it out, check out the summit. I was playing it. Guess what it was. Yeah, I was playing it. I was surprised, man. I saw, you know, Roads, stones, right. mm -hmm. road development, mm -hmm. bloods, crypts. Yeah. And I just, you know, I walked up timid at first, because I'm like, man, I knew it was going down. <laughs> yeah, man, it's too, you got the bloods, I got the crypt on me, man. I got them bloods, I got them stones on this, I got this thing, ain't no way. And everybody got up, and I was trying to, bloods with brotherly love, overcoming oppression, right. struggle society, community revolution, progress, and uh, uh, growth and development, and, we lord of our lower vices and all kinds of all these positive messages were coming out. And yeah. I sat and talked to it was talking to the brothers and it was real good, but when I talked to ears, you know, you and I being black nationalists and being very political, uh, and sat and talked to him and finding out how political he was right. and how the depths his studies were of just and us being Panthers, man, I went into you know, going into the Panthers, man, right. and nationalism and we were talking about fascism and talking about you know what I'm saying? So I think it's a case of really looking at this scene, how prolific this brother is and how profound and how he really has the ability, him and the other brothers that were like the ability to galvanize these young brothers and to move them not just from being nonviolent, but actually being a participating in self-determination in their own political destiny, economic destiny, and cultural, social cultural destiny. And I think that the brothers like that, that scares the shit out of them. Okay, but we, okay, go ahead. Bro. I wanted to hear out of the question, you know what, man? This to Arena. Yeah. Right. And you know what he did? He was in the picture with you know who? Bernie Sanders. So you they you know they, they don't want Hillary or the yeah. Yeah. Hillary. Or they don't want Donald Trump to win the picture with Bernie? Yeah, so you really? they looking like, hold up, man, this man might stop us. He, he, you know, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He, might, he, might, he, might, he, might, he might get all them brothers to vote for Bernie, and they're going right. to stop Then they, you know, the head drip, the grand wizard, Donald Trump ain't going to win. Mm. Okay, okay. okay. Let, let's, let's concentrate on this. You got to concentrate on the legitimacy, because anybody can say, oh, he's done this, and yeah, he's right. a good man, so, and a lot of that is fed through emotions. We got to show that this man has legitimate, he's sounding with very, with husbands are sounding very legitimate. So, um, I didn't know he took pictures of Bernie. That, that's yeah, very interesting. So, yeah. Because you know the political machine, Hillary, is yeah. just, they, they'll, they'll stop at nothing. Yeah. They, they, you know. But how do you show legitimacy? That's, that's the question. How do you show that legitimacy? I mean, when you, when you well, the, the paperwork's like, there. I mean, yeah, the business of the 5-1, I don't just right. say it. And, but the, the, mm -hmm. the media came on and they said that, and they're trying to discredit the work that these brothers do. I think that one Oh, of we the, can easily discredit yeah, media. That's no problem. One of the things that come out too, man, and I like y'all making an address complete to the so-called supporters, is not falling for the ter for state sponsored terrorism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all that is being launched now. First of all, we understand charges are charged. They can charge you with anything. Right, we need proof and evidence. See, black people have right. 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 Hold on. Hold right. on. See, black people are driven on belief. Yeah. In faith. Yeah. See, we need to get our people's mind on proof and evidence. I say this all the time, Yanga. Yeah. I need to gavel you all the time for that. Right. Right. It's so impressive. Who needs the proof and evidence? They need the proof and evidence. Isn't it, isn't it the courts? It, it is their responsibility. The burden of proof is on them to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that but they I, are guilty. They are presumed innocent in, uh, until found guilty. What is this? No bond. What are these? Scare tactics. Scare tactics. 
scare, scare tactic. tactic. You're putting out there your defamation of character. Yes. You're scaring my supporters from me. Right. Okay, so, but unfortunately, Yanga, uh, unfortunately, though, Yanga, is we live in a system where both parties have to come with proof of that. So you see what I'm saying? And then, you see, a lot of times, the, the system relies on Negroes pleading out. You know what I'm saying? Pleading out, pleading out. Well, it's, you already know it's a waiting game. You know what I'm saying? The longer you wait, the more resources are drawn out, like you said, you know, financially drained out. So, you know, but but we got to, I mean, it's, it's a matter of proof and evidence. People, we have to demand proof and evidence. We have to straight up. And, 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 and support because of these brothers. Y'all need to stop being scary, man. That's, that's all that is. You need to stop being so scary. They because they believe, the because they yeah, believe the government is so strong. Yeah, that's true. Anything right. from TV, yeah. well, you love it. White man said it got to be true. Put a white man in a suit on TV, they swear it's true. That's why they drunk Jim Jones having drank the Kool Aid. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because anything white, but we Hillary Clinton too. She had it. My we name ain't the best one. First of all, it's gonna be hard. First of all, we should. It's the burden of the proof is on them, but they put us behind the eight ball they don't because we need both sides have to come. So right now we should be sure. like that. We have to. We we have to, but that's according to their laws. That isn't how it's supposed to be. Their right. job is to prove beyond the shadow hey, of a doubt. You, you, I, I understand. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah, I got. I mean, you got to help me because you put they're putting us. But so you, I'm saying they're putting us behind the eight ball. You give us. You make us have to provide a burden of proof. We don't have that amount of proof, and then right. you give me. Check it out. The state got charges against me. Right. Then you give me a state appointed attorney. Right. That's how you get in a fight with you and you bigger than me. You say, but you know what? I'm going to let my little brother help you fight me. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm still. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How am going to fight the state? I'm going to get you, but you're going to give me your boy. Right. To right. come defend me. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point that I make that it's going to take. Us being nationalists, you know, it's, it, it's self determination, independence. It's going to take those supporters, those people who look to Izzy, Iz, right. KK, better, uh, better community and families, Spike, Stop, all these organizations, y'all who's out there grubbing. I see y'all right. barbecues. Right. I see y'all Negroes out there eating good, rubbing your bellies, mm -hmm. who are benefiting from all of these things. It's going to take us to come out of our pockets now right. and to get some attorneys. To defend them because we can't, though we have to, you're right, we have to provide that proof of what we're doing, but the proof is already there. But it's well, there. Wait, you say the proof is already there. The we got the problem with C3s, we got the paperwork, we got everything they're doing. But as soon as and they're lines up with all the money, right? We're all lines up with all the money, but this is what they say it's a front. So no, 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 I understand yeah. that, but they got to prove that it's a front. If you got everything that, that, that can be tallied up, mm -hmm. everything accounted for, then. Is the, the proof and evidence is right there. It's not a front. Not you can front. say front all you want, but see, that's the thing. People rely on sensationalism. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Proof and exactly. evidence ain't sexy. It's exactly. sensational. The imagination is sexy. Oh, and they wake us up. Right. Huh? And they wake us up. They, they do what they do now. They wake us up. How many of us still still talk about Sandra Bland? Wow. You feel wow. what I'm saying? Black folks exactly. got amnesia. Exactly. exactly. We got amnesia. Freddie Gray? Freddie, Freddie Gray. Gray. Wow. Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we, uh, an atrocity would happen to us, and they keep us so bombarded with this stuff, man. Every day, every month, there's something new that we get amnesia, so they're That's writing right. these brothers out. This right. is why we're here, and we're, gonna, we're committed to keep this in the face of the public, and we're telling them to support us, those people that benefit from right. growth and development in these different organizations. You right. can't, you need to stop suffering from nigga amnesia. That's right. And we have to remember this. Because the charges are bogus. We got the proof and evidence that these brothers ain't getting nothing. But they're going to wait it out. And next Monday, it'll be another nigga in the news. And it'll be somebody in the and we'll forget about right. these 40 brothers and their families languishing behind enemy lines. Right. In there, people going through bills not being paid. Right. Fatherless children. So yes. let me ask you this. Yes. Um, because it seems like they got this, this the cab police officer. I don't know what he's doing. But apparently... We don't know him. No one knows him. No one knows him. No one knows him. So we got to we gotta prove without a shadow of a doubt that we don't know him. He has nothing to do with anything. It sounds like he rolled over and just made up. Oh, I, I know. Uh, uh, Genie, 
that racist circle? Yeah. You know, well, that's how, that's how, that's how I, I feel. I'm not going to lie. And you know how the enemy works. But what? I will. I'll say this. When you are faced with. Okay, I'm going to give you life. You yeah, because he's facing you murder. Know, police officers face murder, murder charges. My dude is facing life. Okay. But when you come to these certain brothers, especially the weak links, and you go and you say, you face some life. Now, either you can give me this information on this dude, because we see you around him. Yeah. And it might not be anything that these people, that this brother knows about this particular individual. But when you come and you say, oh, I'm going to give you life, if you don't say this and this and that, I can reduce your time to this and this and that. You can be out and be with, with your family around about this time. Right. This, this person going to sing like a bird even though it might not even be true. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. They'll sing. Yes. And there's several people doing that. Yeah. It's several. They're singing for no reason. They will lie. They will lie to you. I got this on you. Uh, uh, this brother already told me this, and you do this, and you do that, and I got this sister telling me this as well. So either you can confess to it, or you can go down and we'll give you life. This is what they're facing, and they don't have anything on this brother. Wait a minute. So you're saying people are copping pleas to charges they don't even have? I guarantee you they are. This week, I mean, I, I'm acting surprised, but I'm just, just for the sake of the audience, right? I mean, I got understand how this enemy works, right. especially this prosecutor, which several uh, times that I've heard attorneys say this is a lying B-I-T-C-H. Right, right. And she'll do anything. Not to mention that she's in good relations with the judge that will be judging them. Right. And that's why I said, but you got to prove it. Everyone knows that this person and this prosecutor and this judge are in good relation. Let me say that. Right, right. Okay, Her turnaround is 95%. When she convict or say this and say that, she gets it. She gets it. She gets it. This is an uphill battle for us. Right, right. Okay, so we got to work on changing the venue. That's change, one of the change the venue. You gotta, yeah. you gotta press for changing the venue. Yeah. Because obviously, this lady and this judge know each other. Yeah. Exactly. Right, so yes, yeah, it's, it's already, it's already, you know, I've heard that this is a harsh, harsh judge. I want. Um, it should be changed. Yeah, because he, he well, some names in his pocket. I want, I want is to get um, a bond. I sat in that courtroom with my sister as her husband pled. With, with tears in his eyes. If, if I had been a judge and I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to detain you, after hearing what he had to say, I definitely would have been like, oh, okay, you got a bond, set a reasonable bond. This man played. She has five children, one on the way. His mother is ill. He was their sole provider. Just like mine was our, was our sole provider. We have children asking when their father is coming home. And I'm saying God is going to bring to bring him home. Every story that I'm telling my son, he's so smart. He's mom, my daddy's not here. Right. The soldier just came and got my daddy. I want to get a gun and I want to shoot them. This is my son. You do stuff like that in front of a young child. Right. They remember it. That's right. I don't know how my son is processing things, but he will not go in the house, just in any room, uh, by himself. He used to play downstairs. Used to play upstairs. I didn't have to be anywhere with him. He'll play in this whole house. This, this is no longer a safe haven. Mm -hmm. Your right. home is violated. Our home has been violated. He feels like, any, like if someone is going to come through. Any little sound. Right. He's afraid. If he doesn't that. see me, mom! Screaming out. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, he yeah, he's suffering with PTSD. Yeah. Post traumatic uh, stress disorder. Um, okay. Go ahead. Like we got a problem. I think when I leave here, I might need to call me some lawyers. I think yeah, there's some people you need to have a lawsuit put on them. Well, the first thing we need to do is change the venue. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion of discoveries. Um, and then uh, we need to find out what kind of, even though, because they, 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 like I said, they really stressing on this former police officer. You know what I'm saying? And I think, like I said, he, he just made up GD. He just made it up and, and just rolled. That's it. That, that rolled yeah. out the I felt yeah. like they threw him in there. That's, that's yeah, they threw him in there. I think it was a conspiracy. He Look, man, you're going to get this time, but we'll be right behind you. We'll be out. Yeah. Just, Just say, say this about this. Yeah. I have never seen this man. Well, see, that's, that's the whole problem with that, that racketeering thing. Because, all, all, you know, with that, all he had to do is know 
one of them cats. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the problem. Here. And talk to one of them dudes. They have a picture with him shaking one of them dudes' hands and talking to him briefly for a minute and with the rap tent, everybody gets that that BS. I think but that, can they show the, you the proof? Yeah. That that's that's what needs to be questioned. The rap tent needs to be questioned and, and one of the, and I'm a very big advocate of all power belongs to the people. The masses of people, they again man, I'm making a passionate plea to to the masses of people that have been supported, that have benefited, even if you haven't uh, directly benefited or participated, if you know of their character, man, if you know the works they do, if you know people that know people that know them. You know, for the people that support Yang, that know Yang, man, and know that I don't BS, you know, I don't mess around with bullshit ass brothers. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking, we have to galvanize and mobilize and get out there and express our discontent and, 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 and we want their freedom and at the very we want their media release. But right now we at least want bails and bonds right. set for them right. so that they can come home, mount a defense, right. get the money, right. get the damn defense right. together, take care of their families, and do what they have to do to prepare to face their accusers. Right. I think that it's unjust, it's unjust, and I think that it's all BS, and I don't know what we gotta do, who we gotta appeal to, but the masses need to come together and say, look, it's an injustice taking place and we're not gonna go for it. Okay, you know, now trying to, you had something? Well, well, let me, well, let me say this. Um, you said they had pictures of him shaking. No, 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 I'm, I'm saying that's the problem with racketeering, like, oh, if, okay, if, well, if I do something stupid, you know what I'm saying, and they come to me, well, uh, you know, Yanga, we're going to give you 100 years, you know, but if you say that you're part of the game, well, I don't know no gangster disciples, but you know this guy? Oh, he's a disciple. Yeah, well, I do know some You know what I'm saying? I mean, just me and you. And don't right. eat nobody else. Yeah, but in the process, though, you have to show proof and evidence. Let's just say I know this brother, and this brother's involved in money laundering. You have to show the proof of the process. What do you mean, proof of what process? Brother. Proof yeah, of the process. Yeah, you know, you that. <laughs> when I say proof of the process, this is the system you talking about. Proof, proof, what? You, you just spread to the people, right? So, so the people have to demand the the, the, product, the, the, the process, meaning you got to show where there's money laundering. You got to show where there are exactly. illegal exchanges. That's all I'm saying. Proof of the process. Don't just say, oh, he's a drug dealer and don't have proof behind what you're saying. Okay, so we're proofs. saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we're saying the same thing. We're saying for while we're demanding those proofs, we want their immediate release. Right. We're saying that they're being held if 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 they're innocent. Okay, right. so let me bring another point. Why are they held with no bond? Okay, so why are they become why are they why what's in the uh, story with no bond? What is, what is, I'm gonna speak on the behalf of my husband. Please. Okay. Okay, because I know, because it just upsets me yeah. because he just got out of jail. He just been out for six months. Um, they deny his bond because they're trying to say from last time uh, he was a flight risk because of his last case, which okay. I didn't understand because he was on supervised probation. Probation officer came when he wanted to. Right. He tested. He did his drug test every week. He right. never failed. He just graduated from a class he had to take. So can I ask a question? Where is this uh, PO officer? Huh? The officer that he reports to last time. Yes. Where, where is he or she? You know what? I don't know. And it's crazy. Get in touch because, because yeah, I've had my PO save me. Wow. You know, from a situation. Uh, so so right. that they can, you can use that as a character. So. If he did, you know what I'm saying, he went to, to pay all the things and all that. So contact his PO and see, and, and just have a conversation with that PO. And a lot of times that PO, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you from my situation, my PO stood up for me because I, it was a lesser situation, but basically I got caught in a situation and I was brought before the judge. The only person that was in my behalf was my PO. If it wasn't for my PO, you know, because the judge was twirling the gavel, and like, hmm, so what's Mr. Ball's case here? And he was like, you know, and she's like, yeah, well, you know, Mr. Ball, this and that, this and that. And he's like, oh, okay, oh. Guess we have to let me go then. And they let me go. Go ahead and hurry. You know, I love to do, I love to protest. I think that we need to go talk to these little lawyers that don't want to uh, represent the people. 
Because, you know, a person hates for news to come out in front of the office mm-hmm. and say, this is what happens when, any, you know, one person can't afford to pay for a lawyer. Uh-huh. They say, screw you, we're going to let you get home. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's how he's business. That's, 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 that's is the term. I okay. called this man. So why why did he deny his um, bond? They said he was um, uh, a threat to society and a flight risk. A threat to society. And exactly. I don't know. Because my oh, guns, well, they, they put my guns. Like they said, well, there were guns found in the home. Your gun. My gun. Your gun. My gun. Registered to me. Singular. Right. My okay. gun. Okay. Right. Found in my home. Um, right. And in my purse. Absolutely. Uh, oh, okay, he's a threat to society. Yeah, he, he has not ever been in trouble. Okay. Any volatile trouble. He has not ever been in trouble at all. Besides so there is. Tickets, right, so he was. He didn't even have any prior. priors. No, uh, well, no, besides, besides being, being in prison, prior to that, that was Chan. Well, what I want to mention. He was released. He had nothing. No priors, no anything. They didn't come out for anything. I mean, he, didn't, he had no separations, like, don't be around any guns. Well, well, you know, when you leave free, free is prison, you're not supposed to be around anything. But, but like, like I said, said, my gun was in my purse. He didn't see it. It wasn't out. It wasn't anything. And I have registered. Like, he's not always here. He's helping the community. Right. He has nine of the children in another home. So, yeah, I, I, I want safety. Okay, so, so I had it in my purse. Okay, so China, what I need you to do is get your paperwork okay. ready for, you know, just the gun being yours. Um... Just all the legit paperwork needed. Okay, okay, all right. Right, right, bring that too. That's very important. Okay, good, good, all right. And they said, oh, it was a holster. My holster. They found all that stuff was... Right, get all the paperwork and then just, yeah, that, that that's, um, I mean, that's proof and evidence right there that that's not it. So, okay, so we got the, uh, him being a danger out of the way. So now the flight risk. I'm trying to They said something about they seen pictures or IDs or something. He would flee to uh, a different country. Pictures of IDs. I, I, I don't know. I, no, no, no. I'll be honest with you. I have not seen them. I have seen, seen, right. I have not seen any IDs or anything of that nature. I haven't seen that. So I don't know what they're talking about. But apparently. Okay, so all we do when they make claims like that, we, we have to ask, like you say, we have to, our room, we got to tell the lawyers that we want to. We want them to be presented with the evidence. Right. Right. That he has, that if he has IDs in a different country, we just want to see them. Right. 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 We want to see what these IDs look like. But let me ask you, let's just say, for the sake of argument, he has some IDs. Let's say that right. Okay. Has he ever been out of the country? Exactly. Right. For, and has he ever been out of the country? Do so you have any? Do you have any phone records or wiretaps saying that he was going to leave right. out of the country? Right. Does he have a passport? I don't know. He was getting a passport. He was okay. trying to get a passport. Oh, okay. okay. The only thing he has is his, is his license. But let's so, know, since you, you know, know surveillance, he has the wiretaps. And as he said, I'm going to leave. I got this. I'm, I'm going to leave the country. But you're not going to find that. Gotcha. You're not going to find any of that. This right. man has been here. And this she judge was in charge of the bonding of it, apparently. She is the chief magistrate judge over, that, oh, over I guess, setting the, the bonds. And they said, you know, I wanted to appeal. I told his, I told his attorney that um, I wanted an appeal as soon as possible. Okay, absolutely. He said, wouldn't it make a difference due to the fact that she's the chief magistrate judge? And any so judge, I mean, there's a judge, but there's a judge over her, though, the state. Well, they said that she's over it, and any other judge is going to rule in her favor, basically, unless she was wrong in doing so, unless she's wrong in saying um, uh, something about being a flight risk or a threat to society. Well, it wouldn't be a matter of just going over the judge, it's just another judge hearing and determining so something. Like, like, so you're talking like the state really is. No, 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 I'm talking about. <laughs> Yang, 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 I'm talking about the proof and evidence here, without a shadow of a doubt. They didn't have proof of him being a flight risk. Right, right, but. That white boy in South Carolina that went into a church, a house of law. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, go ahead. And gunned down nine unarmed innocent. Right. People of African descent. Yeah, but he's paid the death penalty. He's paid the death penalty. Don't have a bond or something. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. He did. Oh, he did. He got bond. Yes. I stand corrected. So this is the point that I'm making. 
We need to end up like we need to point out the injustices. And I honestly believe okay. that it's is racially motivated, politically motivated. There is no justifiable, they, they have the proofs and evidence that they have they have the paperwork on the nonprofits. We have the people, and then again, it goes back to the supporters. People are gonna have to step up and say, hey, you are defaming and misrepresenting, mischaracterizing yes. these brothers and these sisters. And, and let me say this for the record, the, the, the Rico is just a drum of guilt. That's you know, know, they don't have nothing in his past. None of your husbands have nothing. But you know, they try to do psychological Warfare to where that's what it is. Now you talk like, oh, did I do something in my past? Kyle's doubt now, you know what I'm saying? And they use that. Well, yeah, well, why are you feeling? Why, 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 why you looking? You did something? Oh, well, we got that right here. Mm -hmm. And then they brought it up as well. They, right. they brought up his past. So he's, a, uh, uh, he's been in prison for uh, how many years? Like 15 years. I guess murdering or attempted murder or something mm -hmm. like that. And then so yeah. had to tell his attorney, which I said the attorney didn't even speak to him prior to this. And he had to tell him, like, no, this is not how this happened. Yeah. You know, yeah. this, this is not what happened. Right. And so the, uh, the attorney went up there and, and said his plea, but like I said, he was stuttering. Yeah. He was very timid. Is he, is he a corner for that attorney? Very much so. Oh, okay. Very, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. But so, this man has done his past, is what I'm saying. He's, he's done his past. past. He's been out since like 2001. Mm -hmm. Right. What has he done to have you say he's a threat to society or a flight risk? What has he done? Well, it's a vague statement. Uh, yeah, this, this, this man has not done anything wrong. Well, see, that's you're not what arresting right. him for uh, gang activities, Absolutely. doing drugs, doing this. Absolutely. You got him on some doggone uh, traffic charge because he didn't have a license. He had something else. What they call it, uh, in, 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 I guess. Uh, but um, they, 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 they don't acknowledge it, you know, when he ruins his life. Oh, yeah, they, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. They, they don't acknowledge that. Yeah. He didn't went to jail for that. Just minor traffic violations. Got out within, like, 24 hours. Other than that, what has this man done? Nothing. 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 And I wanted to go back to that man. Okay. I remember seeing on the news that right. um, he recanted, uh, I guess, uh, something he said. They asked him, internal investigation asked him, um, were you doing drugs? And he said, no, no, I wasn't doing drugs. It was King doing drugs or something. And then they went back and questioned him again. He said, yeah, he did a line or two or did two bumps. So then they said, are you affiliated with the gang? And his response was, no, no, no. Okay. So we need that. We need oh, that. Is, that, uh, that uh, I, 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 I got to call on this. Grown development don't do drugs. Grown development do that still. That's why I say if you was a part of grown development, he is lying. When, when they say they got laws that we go about it, the, the, the police know them. They just all in. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> apparently trying to say that this guy's recanting, so he might just as well. He might be out of the picture as far as they're concerned. Yeah, he'll fall right, 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 right. He might be right. a false point. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm, I want to just make sure we, we etch that in solid in the concrete. Make sure though. We don't know him. No, no one knows him. But, but uh, is don't know. I can I can definitely speak to that because right. I've asked him. Do you even know this dude? Mm -hmm. Do you know this? He said I have not. I have not seen this man a day in my life mm -hmm. until I got in here. Right. <laughs> until I got so, in here. That's okay. the only time I've ever can seen him. Can we get a, uh, I guess a motion to discovery of his statements? I've been trying to. We've been trying to get the discovery pack. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. We were trying to get that. Uh, his attorney, when I did talk to him about two weeks ago, said okay. it should have been in last week. Um, didn't come in. Should have been in um, Tuesday and Wednesday. Did not come in. I kept calling, kept calling. No answer. They said they've been harassing these people. So in my mind, I'm so thinking, didn't see someone, there was no proof evidence. someone is talking. This is what's going on in my mind. Either someone is talking and saying some stuff and they steady adding to it, or they're steady indicting brothers. <laughs> Yeah, but indicting on hearsay. Yeah. Wow. So this is, just, this is what we do. I need you to give me that lawyer's number. I'm love His address, because you know what we want to do? We're going to protest it. We're going to protest it all this. <laughs> and we're going to make him look real bad. So where he going to be, he going to want to push can we, these brothers out their courtroom. Right. Can we get please, some, can we get some contact with some real attorneys? I mean, do you, do you, oh, I've yeah, contacted okay, some. Need, okay, we need to hear some real terms. I've contacted um, Peyton Johnson. 
They say they are supposed to be like the best. Mm -hmm. These people want a hundred thousand dollars up front. <clears throat> That's just up front. Mm -hmm. Capitalist society. Tell about too that um, one of the things when we start wrapping up, and, and I also give you an opportunity because you were so quiet over there. Um, to say say some things you want to say about um, the GoFundMe account. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So uh, we had a brother uh, set up a GoFundMe account for Ed, and as quick as I sent that message out, is as quick as the feds shut that off, like shut it down, took it off, mm. no picture, no anything. I tried to put some money into that account. Mm. Just to see, oh, you couldn't do anything. It was like it was not ever mm, mm, mm. Uh, created. Cointel Pro is alive. But Let me. Me. Say something. Yeah, what? He had he had a uh, GoFundMe account. They were in the million dollars. Oh, man, let me tell you something. I'm talking about white boys. Man, 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 man. 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 Yeah. Let me got wrap it. How many minutes do we have before we wrap it up? It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah. All right, y'all. We well, we out. Yeah. Tune oh, in next. I'm gonna get an opportunity. To read this, if not on the arena, check me out. Check out my Facebook. I'll do it on my Facebook or whatever, and we'll still get it up on YouTube. I want this uh, the message by is to get out here. It's real prolific, real profound, man. We'll catch y'all next time, next week. Do this thing again. And wow. with that, man, we say we say peace. Peace. Deuces. Peace. Uh, no, that's the only.